Hello everyone. Who is your superhero? Is it your mom, your dad, your sister, or your brother? It shouldn't be any of them. It should be Jesus. So, in this month of November, we're going to learn about putting Jesus first. So make sure you turn on your listening ears and memorize the memory verse. Enjoy! I'm so happy to see you guys here in our lesson today. We're going to be learning about keeping God first. And today we're going to be learning about keeping God first with your words. And words are really interesting, right? They're like bubbles. When you blow a bubble, like say if this is my little jar for my bubble and my wand, right? Then if I do this, if I blow my bubbles, can I take one and put it back in the jar? No. That's the same with your words. When your words go out, when you say something, like I say, hmm, your top is really ugly. That's not very nice. But now I can't take it back into my mouth. I've already said it. So you should be really careful with our words. Our words have effects. When I tell you, your sweater doesn't look nice. It looks very bad. How would you feel? I'd feel really sad. Because what if I really liked this sweater? Then you tell me it's bad. I'd feel horrible. So we should be kind with our words. Don't be mean. Being mean is bad. Imagine if your teacher went to your mom and told them, Marcus is a really good boy. He's always kind, polite with his friends. He's patient. Wouldn't you feel nice? I'd feel really nice. I don't know about you. So we should be kind with our words because our words have effect on our friends. And we can even lose our friends because of our words. And that's so sad. So let's be careful with what we say. Let's be more like Jesus all the time. Let's be kind. Let's be telling people, hey, you look really nice today. 
that could put a smile on someone's face and change their whole day. So let's be kind with our words. Remember, you can't take your words back. So be really careful with what you say. It's time for the Bible reverse. Today's memory verse comes from the book of Colossians 3.17. It says, And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. I hope you enjoyed the memory verse. Keep reciting it over the week, telling your friends, telling your mom, reminding yourself. You could even write it down and read it every morning when you wake up, just to remember. But now it's time for money for Jesus. Ask your guardian, your parent, or anyone who's around you to help you give money for Jesus. So remember, kids, that our words are like bubbles. Once we let them out, we can't catch them and put them back. They're already out. So let's be careful with what we say. Our words have effects. Now it's time to pray. Dear Lord, thank you for forgiving us when we say mean things. Help us keep from using our words to hurt others and use our words instead to show how other people are special to you and to us. Let our hearts be filled with your love so that you can speak to others in a loving way. Amen. Amen. So it's been really amazing to have you guys here. Remember to recite the memory verse and subscribe to our channel so that you know whenever we post something new. Share this video with your friends so that you can grow together and have an amazing week ahead. I love you so much. Bye.